With the urge to go further and faster, the problem of increasing the range of aircraft was an early task allotted to the RAE. The first successful experiments were made in 1924 and carried out by two Bristol fighters using 60 feet of three-quarter inch hose. This more ambitious attempt with two Vickers Virginias took place six years afterwards. Here contact has been established, but they've decided not to button up. In these experiments, the cine camera played an essential part the trailing angles of differently weighted pipelines and their general behaviour at varying speeds and lengths. These two Virginias eventually succeeded in passing 50 gallons of fuel through an inch and a quarter hose, but not without a certain amount of risk. The old machines were apt to wallow, and a loose flapping pipe could be very trying for the observer in the back, with the risk too of damaging the tailplane. It is evident now that things are not too comfortable. Anything might happen. That's better. They seem to have complete control again. With this successful contact, refueling is taking place. A snatch would now prematurely end operations and some skill is needed to keep the correct formation. Fortunately, despite the hazards, there were no accidents and refueling in the air was proved to be a practical proposition. With this fact established, some other schemes were investigated and the ideas passed on to industry where they have since been developed. With the refueling finished, the machines break apart and go their separate ways. The observation machine from which the cine records were taken is coming into land. The aerodrome in those early days was uh, very small compared with its present size. There were no tarmac runways, no control towers, and a small hut served to clock aircraft in and out. <laughs>